welcome back to my channel my name is vivian to all my returning subscriber thank you so much for coming again and again and for joining the vivian vlog tv for the first time you are most welcome so today we'll be talking about the general overseer of the redeemed christian church of god pastor in adeboye pastor in adeboye in his address you know to his um congregation of um a follower yesterday said, I will not rest until rapists are brought to justice. According to him, he said, the general overseer said, um, he and his prayer warrior will not rest in prayers until the perpetrator to rape are uh, accorded civil penalty. Adeboy said this during his life um, program on Dove TV mentioned in a battle on Sunday that the issue of rape had become rampant in the society. He also described rape as bad and un unbiblical that it could leave a permanent scar on the victim and the rest of for the rest of our life. According to um, Pastor Inakade Boy, he said there is no pain that can be compared to the pain of the parents whose daughter had been raped. He now said that himself and his prayer warrior will not rest until the perpetrator of this evil act are brought to justice, not only in Nigeria, but all over the world. He also said that everyone who has committed rape, particularly in Nigeria and the world, the unknowing God will fish them out. So, there is a controversial statement, you know, that Pastor Inokadeboye of the Redeemed Princess Church of God make. He said, anyone who think of raping someone, again, the Almighty God will stop them, even before they will do so. And if they insist God will take them away. He now said that even though he did not condone, you know, killing, you know, of people, but then that no punishment that will be given, you know, to um rape rapists that is too big. He said that he said, even though I don't I don't support death sentence, but no punishment given to a rapist is too much. So, guys, please let me know what you think about this word, you know, that is coming, you know, from the Redeemed Christian Church of God, General Vasia, Pastor Enokade Boye. He said, let me, and I quote, as much as I hate death sentence, I think every form of punishment that will be given to a rapist cannot be considered too severe. So, guys, this is Pastor Enokade Boye saying this. Let me know what you think about this statement. You know, this Pastor Enokade Boye in this statement, you know, is being, you know, being emotional, you know, talking like a normal human being, you know, for a man of God, for a respected, well-known general overseer to be saying this, you know, it's a bit, to me, controversial now. Because he preached about forgiveness. If you know Pastor Nakadebo very well, you know that he preached about forgiveness, that no matter what anybody has done to you, you should be able to forgive. Here is he now saying that even though he, con he does not condone, you know, death sentence, but no punishment that is given to a rapist is too much. Speaking from emotional parts, you know, from being human being. Guys, let me know if this statement, if you think this statement that is being made by Nakadebo Pastor in Akadeboye of the Redeemed Christian Church of God is the right one. Comment in the comment section below, guys. Let me know what you think about this comment. Let me know what you think about this old rape thing that is going on, you know, like the one that happened in Redeemed Christian Church of God, you know, in uh, those states that the pastor was uh, allegedly to have raped, you know, Owa. Let me know what you think about this old rape thing and this statement by Pastor in Akadeboye. Comment in the comment section below, guys. See you my next one, guys. If you have not subscribed yet to my channel, please do by subscribing to my channel, by clicking the subscription button and also the notification button to get notified whenever I post my video. See you my next one. Bye. I just want to put on record my humble opinion about the crime of rape. In my own opinion, there is hardly any crime more grievous than that of rape. Maybe with the possible exception of murder. Because when you rape a girl, you put a scar on her not only physically, but mentally. A scar 
that cannot be removed for the rest of her life. And I'm telling you, there's no pain that I know of that can compare to the pain of parents whose daughter have been raped. The girl that was raped and killed in Benin happens to be one of my daughters. And I'm telling you, I feel the pain seriously. And I want to put this on record. I want it put on record. That both myself and my prayer warriors will not rest in prayer until the perpetrators of this evil are brought to justice. We will cry to the Almighty God, the one who knows all things, to fish out these people. But not only those who raped my daughter and ended up killing her, but everyone who had ever committed rape, particularly in Nigeria and even in all other nations of the world, I will cry to my God, the all-knowing God, to fish them all out so that they will face justice. As much as I hate the death sentence, because anyone who is dead cannot be reached for salvation. I think every form of punishment that could give, be given to a rapist cannot be considered too severe. So, God helping me, I will keep on crying to God that anyone who will ever think of raping anybody again, the Almighty God will stop them before they can do so, Amen. even if He has to take them away from this world Amen. to achieve that purpose. And I'm calling on every Christian all over the world. Please join me in praying this prayer. God bless you all.